So we have a series that's gonna be broken broken out. Uh reaction videos. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. About three years. About three years I've not made one. It is finally coming back. It is finally coming back. And this time around, we're gonna have a, a football related video. And uh, yeah, uh, I thought I needed to have my two cents right up there because it, it is ridiculous. It is getting ridiculous. So we're gonna take a look at a video on Pro Football Talk. They talked about uh, Lamar Jackson missing OTAs. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's, it's been made a big deal. Uh, of course, the media is just, it's just like that. Yeah, uh, they, they have nothing to talk about. They run out of ideas. And yeah, man. Oh, let's talk about something very random. Just, but yeah, it's, it, it just, again, we're going to take a look at this. And I'm going to have my thoughts. I'm going to pause the video and shit like that. But here we go. Uh, the losing of brain cells starts now. Well, <laughs> again, you show this clip, but make a video, a 14-minute segment about it. You show, you show a part of John Harbaugh's presser a few days ago uh, at the start of the OTAs. And then you make a video, a 40-minute segment. All right. Makes a lot of sense. What? Wait a sec. I have to come back to this. Hold the phone. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Create the impression that OTAs are anything but voluntary. He does not need to. They are not... They are not mandatory. What are you talking about? So again, you are trying to say they're... They're not mandatory. So he has nothing to make it seem like. They, 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 they shouldn't, like, if they don't want to, they can just miss that, so, I mean, okay, if he's, if Roger said he will come, good, but, all right, you're comparing Debo and Kyler's situation to what Lamar has, but, cool, 
And also, one is because of... The two others are because of contracts. One is because... They don't want to just yet. And... Okay. That's false. That is not true. He never... There is never even a report. The closest thing to that was Jason Lacanfora, a completely unreliable source. Which was completely a lie, first off. He's unreliable. He's absolutely un uh, unreliable. It, there's nothing else to say about him. Who said Lamar was ignoring calls. Ignoring offers. That was never confirmed true. Okay. Higher risk of injuries that quarterbacks don't have? Well, all right. Plays in a... Uh, I mean, he's not the quarterback who gets hit the most at all. He doesn't really brace for a lot of contact. So I don't know what you're on about here. I have zero clue what you're on about here. So, uh, okay, man. Cool. Uh, there's something called betting on yourself. You should really learn that kind of tactic by players. Because players do that all the time almost. They bet on themselves. They think they can, they can just go off in their contract here and get as much money as they can. That's what Lamar's trying to do. He's not the first quarterback in Ravens history to do it. He's not the first player in, in NFL history to do it either. Joe Flacco did it. Talking about us. You have a lot of other players in the NFL do it. So, you had like a lot of Ravens alone in the 2021 season coming into contract years who did it. I mean, Andrews didn't bet on himself. Uh, if he did, he would have been, oh, he would have been costly, but that's another, that's another story. So, I have zero clue what you're talking about here. He gave zero idea that he wanted out. That is just your narrative. He clearly tweeted that he doesn't want to leave. He loves it here. He doesn't want to leave. No, he's not. <laughs> he, he is not, bro. I'm sorry I have to pause the video every time, but there's a lot. There's a lot to absorb in this first two minutes. This first, The first two minutes of this segment, there's a lot to take. It wouldn't make sense to trade him. It would not make sense to trade him, bro. <clears throat> we have been building an entire team around him. If we trade him, what 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 were we building around in the first place if we trade him? It, it makes zero sense. So again, Kirk Cousins and him, he's not he's not working his way towards that. A role he can fill up.
he can't... Dude. He doesn't need to say it's voluntary. The thing is, it is. It is voluntary. He doesn't need to remind. Absolutely what you're talking about here. He doesn't need to remind anybody that it is. But, again, it's like... I like to hear what he's saying. Uh, have you seen the things he's said? So a few a few months ago, he said on Twitter, "Oh, uh, I do not want to leave. Stop reading my mind." This should have shut it down already. A few days ago, he said, "Can't wait to get back," which means he's coming back at some point. He's gonna be in the OTAs at some point. It's voluntary. He doesn't need to be there. Mr. Lamar Jackson won't win a Super Bowl because he missed an OTA. Will never win a Super Bowl in his career because he missed a voluntary workout. And, and then you get into the Brady dick riding. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, do what Brady does. Oh, he eats carrots in the morning. Oh. Oh, Brady eats carrots. You should do do it too. Hey, Mahomes, you don't do it. Like, come on. Come on. So again. Oh, yeah, when you guys said... When you started to get married... Okay, he has a life. So you just acknowledge that players are people too? You you you've you've mentioned that he that players are people too. Maybe Lamar has something going on in his life right now. Again, uh, players are like the only players who actually are people to the media are players they like. That that's pretty much what it's showing. You have kind of a lot of time to get better at this point in the, in the off season. You have five more months till the season. You have training camp. You're going to have preseason. Like, dude. He misses... He misses a... F like... He misses a few days of OTAs. It's not the end of the world.
uh, I'll just continue the video. Dude, days off? He's currently working. He's been working all offseason. Ever since the Super Bowl ended. A few days after, like two days after, he was... He was on the field, working on his throws. And practicing with a coach. He brought in some receivers with him as well on the team. Guys like Prochet and Bateman. So it's not like he's doing nothing. Come on. Come on, Sims. Bro. I mean, I always knew Chris Sims and Mike Florio were, were stupid because they've had stupid reports on this subject in the past. But that might be the worst yet. If you've been if you've been paying attention, it wouldn't have been odd. Okay, man. Because you missed a few days of OTAs, you're doomed for the season. What are you talking about? Like, again, that's another lie. That's another fallacy I caught you on. He, ever since the Super Bowl, he did not rest. He was back on the field. His, his ankle was fine. And then he came back working on his throws, trying to get better. Come on. Again, oh yeah, he had plenty of time to rest. He did not... I mean, from playing football on the field, from, from actual game time, yes. But he's been practicing. He's been in the lab, like you said. It's a voluntary workout. Do better. Bro, dude, have you realized at this point that the guy's not even, he's not focusing on a deal? He's not focusing on a contract right now. He's focused on winning a Super Bowl. And like you said, winning a, 
going to OTAs won't necessarily win you a Super Bowl at all. <laughs> Actually. And I don't know if you've been paying attention, but he's been posting social media videos. He's been posting these videos on social media, in his social media. Do you follow him? He's been practicing. And, and, and also, oh yeah, he's making a mistake. No, really? He's like, bro. He's going to get reporters out of business if he gets this contract done without an agent. Other players are going to do the same. So it's bad for you. It's a, it, it's a mistake in your eyes because it wouldn't benefit you. Without an agent... A reporter has zero access to a player. So, like, if there's anything or anybody, it would hurt if he gets a contract done with no agent, is you. You, Adam Schefter, other reporters. But it wouldn't hurt him. And it would benefit players too. And, and talking about players... Who have contracts coming up. Bro. Oh my god. Bro, he does not need anything. I'm telling you right now, he really is upset about nothing. That's all I'm going to tell you right now. He is upset about absolutely nothing. You're just making it up. So, <laughs> he's he's happy. He's made it clear that he's happy. The front office has answered a lot of these questions. A lot of these questions you're trying to bring up. A lot. Steve Bishotti has said they're ready to give Lamar whatever he wants. They're ready. So, again... Careful. Also, he did say that they're working at his pace. Him and Eric DaCosta, the owner and the GM, they both said the same thing. They're working at Lamar's pace. They've had contract talks. They have. They've con It was confirmed that they've had contract talks. However, they're taking it slowly they're taking their time with it when Lamar wants to start having heated to have just astronaut negotiations that's when they're gonna get it done so again you're ignoring what they said and trying to bring up that question again oh uh, do the Ravens want to pay Lamar does is Lamar happy is he this is he that these questions were answered a long time ago. If you have not un if you have not picked it up yet, I don't know what to tell you. That's all I have to say.
Oh, and by the way, he cares more about winning than money. So that's why he's taking his time with that. He's he's focused on getting on the field, getting better, getting rings. While you're just out here worried about your job. Worried about your job getting screwed because he's going to get a contract done without an agent. And you're out of ideas. Not it is, it, it's not in his interest. His interest is to win a Super Bowl. Again, you, you are wrong. He's, he's no interest of negotiating. He's just not focused on it now. It doesn't mean he's going to get his money at some point. But that is not his main focus. He, he, he has said that many, many times. So... Again, you have not picked it up. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, we're going to go to the style of football he plays. Yeah, great. But then you have Josh Allen, who got like $42 million per year. But his style of play is not dangerous. What he does when running, he runs a thousand times more than Lamar. He would run more in one drive than Lamar would run in one game. He would brace for contact, put his body on the line a thousand times more. Yet he got the bag. How can a dual threat like Josh Allen, who gets, who puts his body on the line way more than Lamar, deserve the bag, deserve a contract, but not Lamar, who's another dual threat, another elite dual threat, who, who doesn't brace for contact as much. His injury history isn't as, as bad as probably Josh Allen's, uh, uh, for sure. And he runs less. So you congratulate Josh Allen for getting that bag, but he has the same style of play as Lamar. There's a uh, there's the irony here. So has Lamar. Again, we're up here again to this point. Uh, he has he has improved his passing over the years. I don't know what to tell you about that. And honestly, he can he's pretty good at passing the ball. Not to their level? Okay, cool. But he doesn't deserve a contract because of that? A long-term deal because of that? I don't know, man. I really don't think they are annoyed by it. The front office is really not annoyed by it. 
because they would have if they if they were concerned about him not having an agent they would have probably spoke about it at some point they've had multiple presses they've been asked a lot of questions about this contract situation so if they had a concern they would have actually said something about it so yeah i don't know man fairly quickly if lamar wants to engage into these talks again again it's, it's not about him having an agent or not it's about if he's actually focused on a contract but the, the reality is he's not focused on a deal he's not focused on a deal right now he's focused on winning and he's bet and and he's betting on himself i don't know what you're talking about it's, just, it's not about having an agent that's gonna slow down this uh, this uh, this contract talk they're not even having any serious talks right now and even with an agent they wouldn't even they wouldn't even have any talks it wouldn't have changed because Lamar would still be out there practicing working on himself getting back healthy taking care of himself he would have still been focused on that rather than getting money and of course he's, he, he 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 does he does think about it he does think about money but bro it, it it just not his focus right now uh he wants he wants to earn it he wants to earn the bag Again, it, it it's literally like you guys have never heard of about betting on yourself. Players do that all the time. A lot of players you guys talk about do this all the time. All the time you have cases of players betting on themselves. J just to get a, a bigger bag, to, to up their value. And... and, and and also, we wouldn't even have a problem with paying Lamar. Because we didn't have a problem paying, paying Flacco after that Super Bowl. We wouldn't put Lamar at all. So before we get into that, uh, also, man, getting an agent, dude, you're just saying this again to, like, dude, the, the media would die. The media would literally die without you, without an agent. It would literally die without an agent. If he does that without an agent... Other players are going to do the same. That will be detrimental to reporters. It would be detrimental to you guys. That's the only reason why you guys are trying to push. Oh, Lamar needs an agent. Lamar needs an agent. Lamar needs an agent. Lamar needs an agent. Dude. What passing ability they unlock with, with with Kaepernick? What the hell are you talking about? So you're just derailing the discussion to to Greg Roman and the offense now. That's what you're derailing this convo to. The past three minutes, it's it, it's just gonna be that. Like, come on. I don't know, man.
bro. I have zero clue. I have zero clue. What does this have to do with with absolutely anything? Anything you guys brought up? So you guys stretched, just stretched that video out to 14 minutes, just for some more ad revenue. That's what we're doing now. Okay. Uh, I'm probably skipping that part. Yeah, cool, 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 nothing. Zero clue what this has to do, again, about missing OTAs and contract and shit like that. Dude, we don't, like, nobody came to talk about the Greg Roman offense. I would love to talk about it. But that's not what we came for. Oh, you just said they were ready to have a contract. And and the Cardinals were not. Thing is here, in this case, Lamar is not ready, but the team is and is not forcing anything. They're waiting for Lamar to be ready. Oh, you, you just poke some sense, but then just... You use that to just say something stupid. Dude, come on. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. So, <laughs> this video was horrible. So, again, this is an example of just the media taking absolutely nothing. Taking absolutely nothing and then trying to make something. Because there was nothing really there. Oh, yeah. He misses. Lamar misses OTAs for the first time ever. Okay. What are OTAs? Voluntary. And then what they do at the start. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, John Harbaugh who tried talking, not trying to make it seem like OTAs are voluntary. They are first off. So you don't know what OTAs are. That's what I know. Second off. You try to, again, it's a very, very stupid com comparison here. Oh, Brady didn't go to, you have Brady went to, to OTAs. Okay. Again, you went completely out of, out of your way to, to talk about something that's not even there. It, it's not there. It's really not there. And then you just ignored everything Lamar and the Ravens have said in the past. That would shut everything down. Just to either question it or just assume the opposite. For example, oh, Lamar ignoring. Jason Lacanfor is not a good source. Like, piss off with that shit. It's not a good source. It has never been. He's just a fraudulent reporter who pretends to be reliable, but he's not. So, I mean, that's the only only thing you saw out there about, about Lamar ignoring something. But then the team said, the team made it clear things are going well. So, again, you're questioning that. And then, bro... 
about the voluntary workouts, what's the issue? <gasps> what's the issue? And, and, and then you're lying. You, after that, you're just lying about him... About him not doing anything. He's out there on the field. He's out there on the field. Not in Baltimore, but he's out there. He's still training. So I don't know what you're on about. Be because of that, man. I have zero clue what you're on about. Like, bro. And, and, and then you're trying to talk about an agent. Okay, cool. Uh, we know you're stupid. Because that is... It's again... You're just bringing up uh, other things that have really no... Nothing to do with the current situation. No impact on the current situation. Because Lamar is still not ready. He he would still not be ready to negotiate regardless of agent or not. And then after that, at the end of the video, you just decide to talk about Greg Roman and the offense. How he's been using and how teams have been defending and, and stupid shit like that. To stretch it to 14 minutes. So... At this point, I, I didn't really care because that's not what I came for. So it's it's a it's 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 a it's a 14 minute video of you guys demonstrating how stupid you are, how stupid and uninformed you are, or just either you're bored, you're, you're just bored, and it, it just shows out today the media is stupid. It, it shows it's another example of how disgusting the media has become today you just dude you are obsessed with this guy you are obsessed with this qb man and, and also last point here lamar has actually responded responded to the little part where chris sims talked about brady about brady and otas Lamar actually responded to that. He said, he said, Lamar wants to be Lamar, Chris. This part of OTAs is voluntary, my guy. I will be there. So again, like I said before, Lamar tweeted about, about, you know, not, about how he cannot wait to be there. But, yeah. Yeah. Continuing the, the quote here. Just not on rear watch. It's probably other QBs not attending voluntary OTAs either. But since it's Lamar, it's a huge deal. Of course. He, he spot on on that. Find something else to talk about. Damn, I love this sentence. It's 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 great to have a quarterback who can who speaks his mind. It's great for a family to have a quarterback like that. He is not. He, he was not scared to speak his mind. So, and again, what he does, what he does here, he tags his QB coach under the tweet, and then says, "My training coach," showing again, he saw it. He saw the video. He saw the part about them saying he was kind of taking a break or not doing anything. Like I brought up here. He saw it. He definitely saw it. My guy. And then you have Chris Sims who's trying to do some damage control. Some stupid damage control. Uh, That's all good, my man. You be you. I'm rooting for you. Yes, I would like to see you at OTAs, but you got to do what's best for you. Not singling you out. We have discussed all QBs who have not attended OTAs. Okay, cool. You're Lamar freaking Jackson. Of course, we're going to talk. Of course, we're going to talk about you. Yeah, it, uh, but at least have something in it. Talk about a quarterback when, when there's actually something. Because at this point, this is obsession. You are obsessed with this man. Because there's really nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. So, that paragraph is just... It's damage control. The backpedaling is crazy. 
So, oh yeah, I'm not singling you out. Well, thing is, question here. Uh, we have discussed all the QBs who have not attended OTAs. Okay, cool. But how many of these QBs have you made more of a big deal than as as much or more of a big deal as Lamar? None. You only made Lamar a big deal. So, yeah, man. I hope you, uh, you know, mind your own business. Lamar isn't holding out. He's not that type of player. If he did that, it would have happened maybe last year. Or he never probably thought he he's that type of player who loves football. So yeah. That's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to comment down below your thoughts down below. Uh, I'm gonna answer to as much as I can. If it, if I can't answer, you know. But yeah, man. Uh and Chris Sims, get off Lamar's dick.